It's a dark rainy day and we see Batman meet up with somebody named Rose. She's a mystic being that Batman needs to put an end to Superman. Before we can take care of Superman, Raven needs to be neutralized and Wonder Woman needs to be taken out the game. I need you and Dr. Okoke both. We see that Rose shares a body with a man named Dr. Okoke and they're both team Batman. Dr. Okoke meets up with Baron Winters in Georgetown. He explains his plan to him but Baron doesn't think it's a good idea. But we see a mysterious man in the back. Oh, let him be, you old knucker. It's John Constantine, and he adds his two cents into the combo. Basically saying, if you ask nicely, I'll help you take down Superman. Dr. Okot says, I'll never ask you for help. Knowing you, I'll end up in a trance with my pockets empty. Ah, it was only one time I did that shit. You think I'll be dumb enough to do it again? Dr. Okot continues his mission. Going to Cairo to get the Blade of Durga, then New Athens to get the Living Sphere, then to the Twilight Realm to trade it in. And after that successful trade, he goes to Metropolis where he's drawing these things on the wall which he uses as a door to go to the sanctum of raven who dares who would breach the sanctum of raven i would and i'm sorry <laughs> and he uses a gem that hurts raven but she then uses the hellfire to burn dr occult instant separating rose from his body no but constantine was lurking the whole time and he picks up where dr occult left off using the gem on Raven. With Raven knocked out, Rose looks at Dr. Colt's body that's just a skeleton. Rose, I'm not gonna lie, you're cooked. You probably got like an hour left at most, so listen to me real quick. I can't go to Themyscira, so you need to lock in and get the job done. Keep your word to Batman and be a proper mage. She agrees and knows she has to take care of Wonder Woman. I'm gonna wrap shit up with Raven, and if there's any way I can bring Dr. Colt from the other side, I will do that too. Just know you gonna owe me big time. If I survive, yeah, if you survive, he knows she's cooked. He wraps up Raven, puts a symbol on her to bind her in place. Rose teleports to Wonder Woman's room, but the bad news is Wonder Woman's awake. Quickly, Rose grabs magical dust out her bag and throws it at Wonder Woman's face, making her pass out. She completed her job of putting Wonder Woman to sleep, but she can't die in her room. There can't be no trace she was there. So she teleports outside, <coughs> starts coughing up blood. Batman, the job is done. Rose, doctor. Raven is neutralized. Wonder Woman sleeps needlessly, but I won't survive. Tell me, where are you? We'll come for you. Well, there's nothing <coughs> you can do. But <coughs> I have to warn you. Don't trust. Don't. Doctor, who can I trust? She then passes away. Constantine pulls up right when she dies and says, after you got a taste of that hellfire, there was nothing I could do for you. And starts going through her pockets, taking her trinkets because she won't need them shits no more. He gets up, lights a cigarette and says, with these trinkets, I won't be involved in this fight. I'll be able to hide in peace. But he lets her know that she did the right thing by getting the job done. That Kryptonian made a mess of this world and he deserves to be taken out. But I'm a family man now. I can't be out here fighting. Rest in peace, doctor. And he walks off into the sunset. We're both out of this war now. Fast forward to current day, Constantine doesn't look too happy. This is the aftermath of a war and he's looking at a green lantern sit on a destroyed house. But then we see a little kid walk out the house. Mumsy and Steven went into the kitchen. They were getting me chips. But she's not just any little kid. She's Rose Constantine, his daughter, and he gives her a tight hug. John was hiding his daughter from the world because his line of work can cause a lot of problems. But now this war has brought itself to his daughter's front door and he must protect her now that she's exposed people will try to come after her we see dr fate warning zatanna that something's coming impossible we're outside space and time nothing can reach us nothing has before be ready it's here they open the door but it's just constantine and his daughter hello z Constantine tells him he came here because something big and scary has been watching them. And Dr. Fate's like, yeah, something changed around here. I can feel it too. He believes that whatever this thing is has aligned itself with Superman. Now that he knows somebody is watching them, but they don't know who, he asks Z, I need your help. Send me to someone. Who? You know who. And she sends him to the greatest detective in the world, Detective Chimp. After getting Detective Chimp on his team, he makes a quick stop in hell, face to face with Trigon. What do you want? I have news about Raven. Why would you want to share news with me? Because I heard you own a piece of my soul now. How does that shit even work? Do you get my soul every other Wednesday or what? All you need to know is I will be torturing you for a millennia and you never getting that shit back no matter what info you got. Right. Well, I think I know what snatched your daughter up. It's something big and nasty and I think it's working against the magic users for Superman. What is it? I don't know, but if I find it, be ready to act. Trigon's wondering why he's giving him this news. If you're gonna torture me for a millennia, maybe I can get some time off on good behavior. 
find my daughter and don't bother me until you have. And he shuts the door on Constantine. Wanka. We catch up with Superman and the gang and they're looking for their lost members. And as you can see, he's still wearing his yellow ring. Superman can't find Batman's allies nowhere. They just vanish from Earth. But then he realizes this has to be magic. Zatanna tells Batman to meet up with Constantine. He tells Batman, you're a grown ass man hiding in the shadows. That's ludicrous. He started flaming his shit off rip. Constantine's driver pulls up and we see that Detective Chimp was also called for this link up. Mid drive, he tells the driver to lick in the back seat. <laughs> the world is going to shit. What the hell you think is funny? Oh, come on. I'm a talking chimpanzee and you're a grown ass man in a bat suit. Let them have this one. The whole purpose of this get together was Constantine showing them where she was located. In case something happens to him, he wants two dudes that he can trust to know where she's at. He lets Batman and Chimp know the reason he's getting involved is because he wants revenge on Superman for ruining his daughter's childhood. And they walk out of there looking cool as shit. We see that Superman has finally found somebody that was working for Batman's side. I appreciate your loyalty to Batman and shit, but I need answers. I don't know what you're talking about. There's nothing you can hide from me. I hear your heartbeat. I see your shoe prints. I see your fingerprints. The rest are hiding and you're the only one that can give me answers. I can even see your wife. <laughs> what do you want? You know what I want. You took our people. Where are they? I don't know. I promise you I'm telling the truth. We'll see. We see Batman, Constantine, and all the other magic users that are going to be helping them in this battle. Grouped up in Jason Blood's home. We all came together for one reason. We all know Superman is a piece of shit that needs to be stopped. We hit him hard by capturing some of his friends. But at the same time, he's taken a lot from us. But thanks to the effort and sacrifices, the world now knows what Superman is. You damn right, they see through that perfect image and everything. They continue discussing, planning shit out. Bullocks is hearing all this shit and he's like, what? He like, yeah, I'm out of here, bro. We got magic shit going on. We got talking monkeys. What the fuck is going on? I'm sorry, I want to help, but I have no idea why I'm in this room right now. And he proceeds to head out the door. Chimp tries to convince him to stay. But then the magic user starts sensing something. The cell is broken. What? Close it. Close the damn door. I can't. Get behind me. Go on. Go on. Form a man. Rise up demon. Yeah. Harvey. Yeah. Harvey and Jason Blood get torn into bits. Detective Chimp also flies back. The big scary thing that was watching them was Spectre the whole time. The spirit of vengeance. Shit's about to get real and y'all gonna have to wait till part 15 to see that shit. I'm gonna see y'all boys and girls next time.